Hey, what's up guys? I'm Zachary Gray, and today we are in Poplarville, Mississippi, a place just outside of Louisiana, very close to it. And we're in these woods right now, and we're going to be walking this way, and we're going to just see whatever we can find. So let's go. Beauty there. That's a five line skink. Nice. Now, the main thing that, that you can see to identify this skink is these lines. Since it's a full grown skink, they are kind of faded, but you can see the lines on its back, and that's how you can tell it's a five line. And their tail, when they're a baby, their colors are very vibrant. They have vibrant stripes and a bright blue tail. I'd love to be able to find one of those. But this little guy, this is probably a full grown female, I'm guessing. Look at the claws on him. Now skinks, if you didn't know what a skink is, it's basically a very smooth scaled, very smooth scaled lizard. Their, their scales are fused together that kind of make this little, this hard skin, these plates that protect it very cool animal. We're gonna let it go. Bite me. I really do not mind being bit by this. Come on, get off. And it's gonna slip right back there. Right now it's not too cold, so it will be able to relax and find where it wants to go. It's not five on it, right? Got it. Again? It's trying to be fragile. Your tail can break off. This is a baby five line. Oh, oh. I knocked him off. Got him. Got him. I am trying to be super gentle not to break the tail. Yes! There we go. This is a baby five line. Man. Look at the tail. That is the most noticeable thing about a baby five line is that bright blue tail. Man. Pretty little lizard. Blue is actually a really rare color for animals. Um, I showed the blue racer pretty recently in a video and you notice that that was gray and that's a lot of times what they'll call an animal that's that kind of grayish color they'll call it a blue animal but this is a true blue coloration on an animal which is really cool you can see the the scales on him right now are colored a lot brighter he's got a lot darker black and a lot brighter yellow man Tell you what, they are fast climbers. Look at him. Man, and as a as a baby, they look similar to something called a broadhead skink. Now a broadhead skink is born as well with the blue tail and the very vibrant stripes. However, as they get older, the broadheads will get a much bigger head and get red on it, as the five lines will not, and their stripes go all the way to their head. Very cool little guy. Put him. Ribbon! He came flying out of that log. That is, is that a bite? That is a ribbon snake. Wow. He is cute. You can see those yellow stripes. Man. It's a pretty cool snake. Look at him. He's got a solid red tongue very long body and that's why it's called a ribbon snake they've got these lines on their body and a very noodle like elongated body kind of like a ribbon and there's another snake that looks very similar to this called a garter snake and you may be seeing a video with both of them soon should be pretty cool but 
fairly, I mean, they have a very mild temperament. You know, sometimes they'll bite, sometimes they won't. It just depends on the snake. One thing about them, when you pick them up, you have to be careful with their tail, is because they will spin their tail off. And unlike a lizard, it will not grow back. Sometimes when you hold them like this, they'll start spinning really fast. And if you're holding it too hard, it'll break their tail off, which is not good. You want to avoid doing that. Very cool little snake. And it is a semi-aquatic snake, meaning a lot of times they'll live by water. Down there, it's very low and very wet, meaning he can get fish and frogs and all kinds of stuff that he wants. That's a lot of times what they're eating. They can also eat lizards and bugs and pretty much anything that they need to get. Very cool snake. And pretty common too. You can find these guys around your house and they have a pretty wide range and they're common throughout their range so it's fairly easy to find a ribbon snake. Oh, that's a gray. That's a gray tree frog. Wow. Look at him. That, that is a gray tree frog. Wow. Look at him. So he is not in his gray color right now, but you can see on his legs, it is fairly white. That is a cool frog. You can see he's got this little mask on his face that kind of keeps him from looking like a green tree frog completely. And what makes him look different, even while he's in this green stage, even though he's green right now because of that's, that's how he's trying to camouflage, it's making, he's still got these little patterns on his arms and his feet, and his feet and arms are still kind of white, as well as his nose has all of his little patterns on it. Gray tree frogs do get a little bit bigger than green tree frogs. They are also a little bit rarer. They're hard to find in some areas, whereas green tree frogs just live everywhere. They're just, they have a very wide range throughout the United States. It's amazing those back feet can jump so far for such a small animal. And the pads on their hands stick them to any surface. They can stick to buildings and windows very easily and that's why you'll be able to see them around your house because if you have lights on in your house the bugs will come up to your lights and that's why you're seeing the frogs because the frogs can get an easy meal at night. Now normally during the day you're gonna see them exactly like we just did sitting on a tree or sitting in a little nook or cranny just waiting for the day to be over you know they are a nocturnal animal. They do prefer to come out at night and catch their food then. Alright guys, we're going to let this little guy go. He is very adorable. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy, definitely leave a like. And I will see you guys next time.